Hey! Um, so in the background, I got a beautiful game by Ed Sharon. Playing the Ted Lasso uh, soundtrack here. I'm in season three of Ted Lasso, and I think my favorite season so far of the show. Yeah, and the and the show has a bunch of like random, yeah, like random songs on it. They're nice, so great soundtrack. But really, though, what I want to talk about is Concrete Cowboy. This film has an 81% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's rated R. It's from 2020. It's a, drawn, uh, a drama. It's an hour and 51 minutes. 70% of audiences like the film. Critic consensus. Well acted and solidly directed Concrete Cowboy. Lasso's old-fashioned uplift with its story of a father and son and a little seen corner of American culture. <clears throat> So when it comes to American films, yeah, I like films that are good story-wise when it comes to, like, you know, drama, character development. But this one, yeah, is a part of American culture. Uh, th th I mean, this movie showcases a part of American culture I'm not familiar with. So the uh, the premise of the, the film, uh, the film follows 15-year-old Cole, who's forced to live with his estranged father, Harper, in North Philadelphia, where, despite the surrounding poverty and violence, he discovers... He discovers the redemptive world of urban horseback riding. Yeah, so, I mean, this film for me kind of recontextualized, like, the American myth of who cowboys are and what it means to, like, you know, raise horses. And here, yeah, there are black Americans riding horses in the city, raising them in the city. I mean, it's it, it's a cool look. Yeah, a different uh, perspective. A fresh take, to me, on, on, on cowboys. So, I wonder if this would be considered some sort of, like, even modern western in, in some regards. And this film even also makes me uh, reconsider the concept of labeling movies. Because there's a lot, there are a lot of movies now with a lot of, you know, depending on how you see it. Yeah, it could be labeled very differently by many different people. So this movie is based on a novel, Ghetto Cowboy, by Greg Neri, uh, which was inspired by the real urban African-American horse riding culture of Philadelphia, in particular, the Fletcher Street Urban Riding Club. Yeah, so this is a real club. And at the end of the film, like in, document in documentary fashion, they uh, the, the filmmakers actually interview and talk to some people who are actually in this, uh, you know, uh, club, this Fletcher Street Urban Riding Club. Yeah, and the film stars uh, Idris Elba, Caleb McLaughlin, Gerald Jerome, Byron Bowers, Lorraine Toussaint, um, Jamal Prattis, and Clifford Method Man Smith. Yeah, so while the film is completely fictional, several real members of the Fletcher Street writing community play supporting characters who give voice to real issues that the community faces. Yeah, um, it's, it's a solid, like, film, like, you know. And it's radar. Why is it R? I'm gonna say language. Um, oh, it doesn't really say why it's R. But yeah, the language, like for sure. I think because, like, yeah, um, cursing in in America means radar. So that's that's that, I guess. All right, that's Urban Cowboy, a concrete cowboy, and I definitely do recommend it. So until then, take it easy and peace.